Hi everybody, I'm Jared Pike. This is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, July 24th. On today's show, Ruth Duber shows us a recipe for crepes with chicken and artichoke filling. We'll also get an update on the construction of the Aquatic Center. And we'll find out what one resident did with the trees that were cut down at the construction site. But first, a reminder about the final Legacy Seminar of the Summer Academy, dealing with estate planning. Now, with all the hubbub that swirls around your finances, it seems like you need a superhero in your corner, fighting for truth, justice, and the American way. Actually, that's exactly what you need, according to Tim Stevenson. But how do you find such a person? Learn how by attending the seminar, Estate Planning Superheroes, this morning at 10 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands. Well, during the summer, it may seem like there's not much going on at Shell Point, but actually, it's incredibly busy. All you need to do is listen for the construction equipment. Out in Palm Acres, they've broken ground on a model home to represent our newest neighborhood, the Estuary. In the Village Church, they are completely rebuilding the backstage area and will soon turn their attention to the front lobby. And at the Island Swimming Pool, well, actually the Island Swimming Pool doesn't exist anymore, as you can see. Once the fences went up, they began tearing out sidewalks and vegetation, and then they made short work of the old pool building. Then they dug up the pool itself and discovered that it was sitting on 40 years of decaying vegetation. This mucky material is not strong enough to build on to today's standards, so all that muck has to be removed and clean fill dirt brought in so that there is a strong foundation on which to build the pools and the supporting buildings. Construction is on schedule and should be complete by the end of the year. Now, one upside to all those trees being removed, some enterprising souls got their hands on some new building material. Floyd Fote of Sundial was able to salvage a Norfolk pine that they cut down and turn the tree trunk into beautiful wooden bowls and chalices like this. How did he do it? Well, he used his favorite tool in the Shell Point wood shop, the lathe. Came to uh, Shell Point and uh was looking around here one day and one of the present residents showed me through the wood shop. When I saw the tools and smelled the wood, I said, oh, come on, let's go sign the contract. <laughs> I did a little woodworking when I was a kid at home, uh, but none between uh, the time I was about a junior in high school until arriving here. One of the previous employees that Shell Point hires to work in the wood shop, Bill Sullivan, uh, encouraged me to uh, get started in wood turning. So we have all kinds of tools up there that we use to shape the uh, wood. There's um, a motor here and then you turn it on and then you can adjust the speed by, by uh, turning it on. So that's the speed. If you uh, turn it on wide open, it, it, uh, it just goes on up. You can vary the speed and uh, depending on what you're doing and what you want to accomplish, uh, the speed may be uh, varied. And what I know about this is what I've learned here. Part of the process then is making sure my tool rest is as close to this as, as possible. Okay, now it's ready to run and they'll be... And uh, again, it's knowing how to hold the tool and how to...
You can see me turn it, turn that tool a little bit. I'll show you now the bowl part if you want to, and that'll come in on the end. the essential in making a bowl. The equipment that we have here is first class equipment and not only first class equipment but it's kept in first class condition by the employee that Cell Point hires to work in the wood shop from 8 in the morning until noon every day Monday through Friday and Phil Nadal uh, makes sure that all the tools are sharp, uh, all the band saws have good blades in them. When uh, visitors come through and they begin to question about all the wonderful equipment that's here, um, it's, it's very interesting f for me and uh, any of the rest of us in here to inform them that none of the equipment that's here was purchased by Shell Point. All of it has been either purchased by resident who is working here, some few pieces have been uh, left here, periodically somebody may donate one of the pieces and uh, we do all kinds of repair work for people from Shell Point and they find that there's no charge but there is a kitty there so we put money in the kitty uh, those of us who work here uh, put money in the kitty sometimes somebody will come in and and uh, we do some repair work for them we encourage them to give money to the kitty and then the kitty buys this that or the other and uh, so all of it has been purchased in that fashion. And uh, they're all first class equipment, two table saws, uh, a planer, uh, a joiner, and uh, drill presses. I think there's four drill presses. So there's all kinds of equipment that's here in the shop available for everybody. We have uh, dentists and surgeons who are uh, wood turners for a reason. And I raised the question why? And he said because of the coordination between the eye and the hand and, and the brain. And uh, so I joke about it now and say that my wood turning now has uh, become a, a time of therapy for me. <laughs> During the summer, our dining facilities go on a brief hiatus to retool their menus and prepare for the season. For example, right now the Cafe Promenade at the Woodlands is closed and it will reopen next month. In August, the Crystal Room will take a few weeks off and in September, the Palm Grill will be closed. But right now, the Crystal Room has some awesome new specials that you can only take advantage of during the summer. Wednesday nights still feature the Design Your Own Pasta Bar, but now with a new lower price. Just $8.95 for all the pasta you can eat, plus unlimited soup and salad. So if you enjoy pasta, tonight is your night. On Friday nights, the Crystal Room has traditionally featured its seafood buffet and nothing else. But now, they are also offering everything on the a la carte menu as well. So whether you enjoy surf or turf, you can get it all at the Crystal Room on Friday nights. For more information, call the Crystal Room at 454-2199. Now, here's another tasty delicacy for you. Crepes. Many people think they're only a breakfast food or a dessert, but crepes can be filled with anything from sweet to savory. In today's episode of What's Cooking, Ruth Duber shows us not only how to make the crepes, but also how to fill them with chicken and spinach artichoke Alfredo. Hi, I'm Ruth Duber and this is What's Cooking at Shell Point. And I'm taking a real risk today. One of my favorite things to do is make crepes. But if any of you ever tried it, it doesn't always work out the way you want. But I've got a few extra little tips today. And actually the filling that we're going to use, you actually do it in the microwave. And so it makes it a very easy dish. 
Um, for the filling, it is shredded chicken, an artichoke and spinach dip, and an Alfredo sauce with a little cheese on the top, and we'll do that in the microwave. So the first thing we're going to do is make the crepes, and wish me luck. You see I've got it in the blender. In the blender is three quarters of a cup of milk, half a cup of flour, two eggs, and about a sixteenth of a teaspoon of salt. You put the, the milk and the egg in first, and then you add the flour and the salt. Then you want to refrigerate it for at least an hour. And that's basically so that the, the gluten will relax and it will adhere to the, uh, the eggs and the milk. And you should use a small skillet like this because that's about the size of the crepe that we're going to make. And the recipe that I'll put up on the website actually will make about six crepes. And you're going to put a little bit of butter. Now this crepe recipe is not sweet, but sweet crepes, dessert crepes, are fabulous. Actually, it would be the same recipe, but you'd add about a half a tablespoon of sugar. If you want to make them chocolate, you add a little bit of cocoa to it. But it's still the basic crepe recipe. Let it get a little bit hotter. There, we'll start with one. And basically what you want to do is to get it just a little bit brown on the underneath side. And we will peek a little bit to see how it is. I'm going to peek underneath. No, it is not browned yet. If you're worried about flipping it over, I'll show you what we're going to do. Now that could have gone a little bit longer, but there, it's turned over <laughs> without having it all over the stove or whatever. So when it's all finished, we're going to put it on a plate and let it cool for a bit while I do one more. This, I can see, is a little brown on the bottom. so. I'm going to put it right there, put the skillet back there, and turn it over in the pan. Whoops, a little bit lopsided, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'll be able to move it in a minute. A little bit more brown. Now, crepes are really wonderful because you can put uh, wax paper between each layer of the crepes and put it in the freezer or the refrigerator and they heat up beautifully. Okay. All right. Now we're going to work on the filling. Now the recipe does call for about a cup of the shredded chicken. And we'll do some of this. This I bought from Publix. Okay, now we're going to go over and heat this in the microwave. Now I'm going to do it for one minute and then we'll check it and see. It's great for family vacations. Okay, this is, this is nice and warm. Get that out of the way. And this is some Alfredo sauce. But first,
There, we'll put that in the dish. And let's do one more. Now what I have here is probably enough for six crepes. Okay. So your Alfredo sauce across there. Put a little more Parmesan cheese. And this will heat in the oven just for a couple minutes. Cover that, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. There we go. Now that's a pretty hearty meal for two people, <laughs> or one. I'm going to cut just a little piece off there so that I can taste it, let it cool a minute. Mm. As I say, you might want to try the sweet crepes by just adding little bit of sugar, make it chocolate by adding a little cocoa to it, and have fun. All kinds of fillings are available, so. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, this is a hit. I hope you'll try it. I'll put the recipe up on the website. See you again. Bye-bye. It's time now to cover all of Wednesday's happenings from Resort Services, followed by your Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Shell Point TV's Happening segment. I'm Bev Chandley and I'm going to go over activities we're offering here at Shell Point today. We're going to start out at 9 o'clock. You'll find the Jurassi Travel Agent in the Egret Room on the island. Also at 9 o'clock, we have the Round Robin Men's Doubles Tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. 9 o'clock is also the time that the Watercolor Group with Phil Hilton will be in the art studio. 10 o'clock, it's time for the Ladies Bible Study. They'll be in the Osprey Room. And at 10.15, you'll find the Model Yacht Sailing Club at the Woodland Commons Lake. At 11.30, we have a Health Connections class. This one is Agility and Flexibility in the Health Club. That's currently full. 1 o'clock, we have Chess in the Library Lounge on the island. At 1.45, we have a Health Connections Balance and Mobility Training Level 1 in the Health Club, and that is currently full. At 3 o'clock, we have a Bible study in the King's Crown Community Room. Also at 3 o'clock, we have a Health Connections Pilates Stretch class. That one is in the Health Club. At 3 o'clock, we have a Memory Care Group third floor craft room of King's Crown. Sign up is required for that one. Then at 4 o'clock, we have Lillian Company Jewelers coming for their weekly jewelry service. They'll be in the egret room on the island. At 4.30, we have a couple of things going on. We have an indoor bocce game going on in the Health Club. Also at 4.30, we have a, a dinner outing to traders on Sanibel. Uh, court pickups begin at 4.30 on the island for this trip, 4.40 for Woodlands, and 4.50 for Eagles Preserve. Sign up is required for that. And then our last activity for today is 7.15. We have prayer and praise in the Village Church. Thank you for joining me, and we'll be back here tomorrow for Thursday's happenings. Hello everyone, this is Wednesday and I am Terry Coles sharing the news in the Academy of Lifelong Learning with you for today. At 9 o'clock, painting with Karen and Herb continues in the Saver Room of the Woodlands. And at 10 o'clock, we have a legacy seminar to serve and protect 
focused on estate planning superheroes. This will take place in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands, and please sign up at either service desk. Then at 1 o'clock, Intermediate Bridge continues in the Game Room of the Woodlands. At 1.45, Flash Drive Prep School continues in the Computer Teaching Center on the island. And tomorrow we have a new class, Session 2 of What We Learned Wrong in Civics, with Norton McKnight of Lucina. Menus for Wednesday. In the Crystal Room, the Crystal Platter is turkey pot pie with steamed broccoli and biscuits. For dinner, it's the pasta buffet for $8.95, and the soup of the day is pasta fagioli. In the Island Cafe for lunch, enjoy a turkey cob salad wrap with fresh fruit for $6.95. For dinner, the special is fried shrimp for $7.95. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill on Wednesday are T-bone steak for $19.95 or Florida grouper also for $19.95. Um, menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hi, welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm Andy Hawkins, a senior pastor here at the Village Church, and I'm here with Randy Woods, who's the Minister of Worship and Music. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're always uh, delighted to share together in ministry in so many different ways. But we have some, I think, very exciting news to share with people mm -hmm. about uh, the way the, the Village Church ex worship experience can uh, really be enjoyed by people here at Shell Point. Yes, Pastor Andy, it's great to know that now Folks obviously have been able to attend the service, and all are welcome anytime to attend the worship services, but there are occasions when folks can't get out, so they can see the morning broadcast live on Shell Point TV, Channel 12. Every Sunday morning at 10.15, they can join in. But there are a number of folks that, for whatever reason, are not available then, perhaps they're attending other churches, or they are attending the Village Church, but want to see the service again. And now we have the opportunity to see that service as it's rebroadcast each Tuesday and Thursday. That's great. And so the, they're actually going to be broadcast, as I understand it, three times on each of those days. Exactly. Tuesday and Thursday, 9 a.m., 4 p.m., and 8 p.m. Rebroadcast three times each day, Tuesday and Thursday. So folks who have missed the service, or some of us just like to hear what you say a second time. Yeah, I always have people who say, I'm not sure I caught all of that. Yeah. So I'll be able to say, well, there are plenty of other times to watch it yeah, again, you can right? take notes, or I can take my notes and see if what you said is what I heard, or vice versa. But yes, three times on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the rebroadcast. And that rebroadcast is actually on Channel 13, right? Yes, channel 13. So the live, live feed is on Channel 12 on Sunday morning at mm -hmm. the regular worship time, and then it's rebroadcast uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Channel 13. Sure. And we realize that for everyone our schedules are so different and responsibilities are such that we want to make it available so the TV broadcast is one way but for folks who want even more flexibility they can view the church worship service the Sunday morning service online mm -hmm. anytime and that's available at www.shellpoint.net forward slash shellpoint today and as you come up on that page, on the right-hand side will be the icon of the Village Church. Click on that, and you can see last Sunday's service throughout the week, anywhere in the world. And uh, that can be done any time of the day, right? Any so time, uh, any, any place. anyone that has an internet connection can uh, can view it on their computer. But uh, I, I must mention that uh, this rebroadcast on Channel 13 is uh, really by uh, popular demand, as it were. There were yes. people that really requested it because yeah. not everybody wants to sit in front of a computer screen right. and uh, watch something like that. They want to be able to watch it on their televisions, and they want to have uh, other opportunities to to view it. And our recording is high definition, and as the TV system here at Shell Point is changing next month, it'll be wonderful to see in high definition the clarity of our halos and all those things that we share. But the beauty of the music, the sound will be enhanced as we go high definition with all the TVs, as well as the picture and the image. So it's a wonderful ministry and great opportunity for our residents to be able to participate with our worship experience throughout the week. Now, I'm not sure I'm all that crazy about the high-definition stuff. Does the uh, Shell Point TV staff, are they able to do kind of do a makeover on uh, like people yes. like me and make me look better than I really am? I understand they have these lenses that uh, are like Weight Watchers that are, make us look tall and thin. So be looking for that. Okay, I'm, I'm interested to see yes. how that works out. And then we also want to remind folks that sometimes there's a message that you have shared, a ministry that we have been engaged with, that they would like to be able to 
send to family or friends, share it or keep it to really study it. So there are recordings, DVDs mm -hmm. and CDs available at the church office. So as we engage in the ministry, we just want to make it available to folks to participate and really share in all that God is doing. And it's such a joy to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Now, are some of those DVDs, they're also available at the church library, aren't they? Yes, you can purchase them or you can borrow DVDs from the library at no expense. Mm -hmm. And the recordings of all of our services are kept in the church library. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, we certainly want to make sure that uh, every opportunity we can provide uh, to help the worship experience here in Shell Point is made available. And so uh, we hope that you'll be able to join us, not uh, if not on Sunday morning and if not in person, that you'll be able to join us uh, in the Village Worship, worship Service experiences uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, either at 9 a.m., 4 p.m., or 8 p.m., and uh, just experience that together as we enjoy our life together here at the Shell Point Retirement Community. Blessings to you all, and thank you for joining us at Village Church Connections. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow as we offer more information on the upcoming digital TV transition. We'll also go around the world, literally, with Jim and Ginny Plummer, who recently spent four months on the water during an around the world cruise. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, July 24th. I'm Jared Pike, and from all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day. And we'll see you again tomorrow.